Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is June 14th, 2017. Taking a look at our current conditions, our solar wind speed is sitting right at 480 kilometers per second with a density of 5.3. Today, AR2662 breaks our four day spotless streak, sunspot number 11. As we spoke about this last night, Lee broke it down to us on how they come up with the sunspot numbers. Again, it is AR2662, sunspot number 11. Our KP indices are sitting at 2 right now. Our 24-hour max KP indices was also at 2. Let's take a look at the SDO as the corona hole that we were spotting yesterday has finally turned towards Earth. And I'm going to take here an article from spaceweather.com. A large hole has opened in the sun's atmosphere and it's turning towards Earth. SDO is monitoring the structure shown here, an extreme ultraviolet image taken on June 13th. This is a coronal hole, a region where the sun's magnetic field peels back and allows solar wind to escape. A fast moving stream of solar wind from this coronal hole is expected to arrive on June 16th, possibly sparking a G1 class geomagnetic storm. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially in the southern hemisphere where autumn darkness favors visibility. Forecasters note that this stream is unusually fast with wind speeds as high as 700 kilometers per second. It is threaded with negative polarity, south pointing, magnetic fields. Such fields do a good job connecting to Earth's magnetosphere and energizing geomagnetic storms. And finally, I'd like to shout out to John once again. Uh, John is a subscriber of the Grand Solar Minimum and he is very knowledgeable on the subject. Uh, he made a prediction last week and again this week and the prediction that he made, uh, I'm just going to read here from his comment that he left me on Monday and he says, as the hole turns in, we have Saturn aligned with Earth. No geomagnetic storms and a backside CME coupling with our orbital plane. That's almost the recipe for earthquakes. The 6.0 earthquake drought ended yesterday, meaning Sunday, with a deadly 6.2 off the coast of Turkey. The factors I mentioned are in play, so another 6.0 or higher is on our doorstep, likely closer to 7.0. And the reason why I wanted to mention this is that overnight hours, early morning, we had a 7.1 uh, earthquake in Guatemala. Now the USGS has downgraded it to 6.9 but I just thought it was interesting. The first thing I thought of when I saw this report this morning uh, was what John had said to me with the alignment of Saturn, with this coronal hole, the ingredients were there for the 7 point or higher earthquake. So good job again John. We appreciate your input as always. All right, that's going to do it for us today, folks. Please like and share, and we'll talk soon.